Well, good morning everyone. This is the Gallivanting Hikers. This is Dilly Dally and... Trouble. And we're out for another hike. Um, it's a little bit of a different hike for us today. Um, but let me talk about the weather. It is at the end of March in New York and it is 40 degrees right now. But the uh, temperatures are, are supposed to plummet. So we'll see what happens today. I think this afternoon it's going to rain and uh, possible uh, some a little bit of snow. So Trouble, why don't you talk about um, what we're gonna be doing today? So um, we're actually hiking on the east side of the Hudson River in Westchester. Uh, and we're gonna be doing what they call the roundabouts. And what they are, it was part of the fortification uh, for West Point. So we'll be taking a look at those uh, as we're going around. There's two of them, uh, the north and the south. Oh, good, good, good. We also are going to answer um, one of our uh, subscribers' question, and um, the subscribers' question was, what's in our day pack, and what do we carry um, for emergency purposes in our day pack? So we'll address that a little bit later on. So we'll see you on the trail. See you on the trail. Tea break. You could come in here, make your tea, have a pot belly stove, a little bench to sit on. You got something to put your feet up on. Well, I guess it's a little deteriorated. So, uh, what they used to do, the hiking clubs used to build these little uh, sort of lean to features, and then they would come out and have uh, a lunch or a little barbecue. So, I don't know if this is one of them, but it looks like it is. Uh, but it would be great. It's in a sheltered place out of the wind. So, but obviously it's deteriorated. So who knows how long. So inside this shelter looks like a little teapot maybe. And an old, old pot belly stove. What do you think the pot belly stove is made out of? Cast iron? What? What is the pot belly stove made out of? Cast iron. Cast iron? Okay. And then there's a, a cart. Some kind of barrel. Yeah, they probably use that as a uh, some sort of stove for uh, heating. You can see inside this food pipe. Let's see if we can get a little closer. But this is really deteriorated. But it's really fun to explore. Oh, and what's this? Oh, they must have had hung something or had a post in there. Cool. <clears throat> but it's old construction. So this is uh, basically two, two by fours uh, construction uh, with some headers. So it's f somewhat new. The roof is a uh, three-quarter inch tongue and groove uh, pine planks with uh, sort of an asphalt uh, roof. And the walls are just uh, sawn uh, lumber. If you want to take a car around here, take a look at those. And how old do you think these nails are? Uh, do you know? Uh, this is probably done maybe in the 40s. Okay. But you could see the... the... So you could, from here you could see the roof uh, and then you could see the siding below it, uh, which is just sort of flakes. And do you think this was some kind of a gate? Yeah, I, I think it was belonged to something else.
So this is a map of the area, uh, sort of around the constitutional time. And uh, the north rebound, which we just came from, we have parked down by this road, is here. We're currently at the south rebound. And both of these were used to defend West Point. West Point Fort was here. And as you can see, there was uh, booms and chains in the river. Uh, the river takes like an S, so the boats would have to navigate that, slow down. And again, they would, and this is Constitutional Island, so they would be, you know, heavily defended. And this was uh, basically to defend all the territory north, uh, you know, from the British. So that that's why this was a critical point. So this was during the Revolutionary? During the Revolutionary, Revolutionary War. Uh, since then, West Point's actually been built up to the academy, um, and it's a lot of historic area. So we finally found a view, um, an open view of West Point, and hopefully you can hear me with the wind, but um, what you're seeing here is the Hudson River, and then here is West Point, and before we were talking about the uh, chain and um, that went across the Hudson to stop the British. Um, if you can see here, there's like a short, uh, there's a curve around the river. That's where the chain was. And I believe uh, what you see in that peninsula coming out, it's actually an island. It's called uh, uh, Continental or Constitution Island. I'll put it in the video, the name of it. But this area is so rich in history as far as the Revolutionary War is concerned. It's a different kind of hike today. Well, hello everyone. We just are finishing up our hike for today. Um, the weather held down for us. We had a little bit of snow flurries, which really brought a smile to my face because this might be the last chance that we see snow for the season. Uh, but it's the temperature going to drop later. So we'll see what happens with it. But um, had a fabulous day. Really enjoyed this hike. Uh, it was very historical and uh, that was fun. Um, I did say that we would do a, a video on, or a segment on our day packs. I'm not too sure whether I'll uh, add it on to this video or I'll have a separate video. Once I edit this video, I'll know. So, um, trouble. Wait and see. Wait and see. Um, what did you think about the hike today? It was a good hike. Um, the terrain was mixed. So, uh, definitely uh, an interesting hike. It's not, I think it was a little less than five miles. So it's not the longest trail, it wasn't mostly technical, but the scenery, the taking it easy, uh, and like I said, I mean, there were some parts that were rugged, some were road walks, wood walks, up hills, down hills, so it was a good mix. Yeah, yeah, so uh, that's it for us for today. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our video today, and we'll see you on the trail. See ya. Bye.